I think it's time for yet another upgrade for my videos. This time we shall be upgrading the audio. And I just got in my Zoom H1 audio recorder, or handy recorder, whatever whatever it's called. But it cost me about 80 or $90 off of eBay. It took me a little extra to come in because the south, a lot of the southern states got a little bit of snow and they're all freaking out about it and you can't ship anything now. But I got it through slowly, like, an, like three days over schedule. But anyway, let's test it out and give it a go. So on the front side of the Zoom H1, we have the microphones, we have the record peak indicator LED, we have the screen, and we have the record button. Now it's recording. It's pretty simple, actually. So on the screen, it's pretty straightforward. You have the record uh, meter, the volume meter, so you, you can see the left and the right channel of the recording. You have how much time you are recording, and whenever you're not recording, it says how much time you have left. And with a 2 gigabyte micro SD card, which came with it free of charge, it gives me 30 hours of record time. So really, two gigabytes is good enough for anything I'll ever do, probably. We also have the, the date and time, and then we have the battery meter. And actually, I'm running this off of dead batteries from my, my regular camera, and so it seems like it, it doesn't have that, that big of a power draw. Now, as for the p record peak meter, whenever it's recording, the meter is lit up. Whenever it's not recording, the meter is always off, or the, the, the indicator is always off. Well, whenever you max out the meter, which can indicate that you're getting a bad recording, this LED indicator will blink. If it, uh, so that's pretty handy. Now let's turn it over. On the back we have three switches and the battery cover and the tripod mount. So you can mount this to something because unfortunately, whenever, even by touching it, you can hear the sounds of it, so it, it doesn't isolate the sound from the uh, it, it doesn't isolate the uh, the casing from the recording too well. The first switch we can switch between what file format it saves it as. We can save it as a wave, which is kind of a big format, or we can save it as an MP3, which is kind of com uh, which is really compressed. So I'll experiment with that, but I think MP3s would would be good enough. We can have auto level, which you can have that on or off. So basically, what happens is on the side over here, you can adjust the the recording volume to whatever you want, but you can just tell it to do it automatically. Unfortunately, I found that the automatic level is kind of it's a little slow and it doesn't really react fast enough to really do anything. So it's it's better just to do it manually. And the low cut, I, I'm not really sure what that does. I'm thinking that maybe it doesn't allow sounds uh, like static or anything like that uh, below a certain frequency so for instance static the waveform for static is just it's very quiet but it's very noisy still so the low cut would cut out everything below a few decibels i think and so you could remove a lot of the low sounds or a lot of the background noises on the side over here 
Oops. We have the line in, so you can use a different microphone, but the thing is I bought this for the microphone because I don't have any really good microphones. You have your input level, so so this, uh, by pressing this, you will change the input on, this, on the screen. And actually, you can see that whenever you adjust this, it changes the number. And then over here you have your, your functions for the file man managing. Like you can play a file, you can go back and forward between the files you've recorded, and you can uh, you can throw them away and delete them. Then now here is your power uh, your power switch. You can hold it down to turn it on and forward. I don't know if know what forward does. Here's your USB for connecting it to, to your computer. Then over here, quite simply, we have our micro SD connector or a uh, micro SD slot for it we have our volume out volume and then we have our actual volume out for our microphone now unfortunately this little plate is extremely difficult to get open there we go yeah it that little door thingy wasn't very well thought through. It's very difficult to open or close. So, whatever. I might just end up ripping it off because it's very annoying. Now, let's find out what the holding it up does. Oh, okay. I get it now. Hold deactivates all the buttons. So you can't press any of the buttons. So for instance, if I wanted it to record and I did not want it to stop, like if I was recording a thunderstorm or something that, or like a, I don't know, something that would only happen a few times, I could put it to hold after I hit record and then there would be no way for it to stop recording. Well, okay, there will be ways if someone grabbed it and smashed it on the ground, but that's kind of out of the ordinary. So yeah, I have to say I'm pretty happy with this whole thing. It even has little feet on the bottom for, for setting it down. And here's a little, I'll show you a little demonstration of it maxing out. We can watch the LED. So, well, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. See ya!